Hi, I'm Linda Fries. I'm a licensed vocational nurse and I'm also an emerging artist. I'm a contemporary abstract painter living here in Southern California. And most importantly, I am a child of God. And today I want to talk about how Grace Fellowship International, everything it stands for, Aaron Kim, J Dr. John Woodward, the Handbook to Happiness, how it all helped me get over my long, long season of weekly severe panic attacks and living with daily fears and anxiety. It's, as I'm filming this tonight, it's October, 2022. I've been a nurse for over 10 years. The first nine years of my life, the first nine years of my nursing career, all I did was home health nursing. I loved it. It was rewarding, but at the same time, a lot, a lot of parts of it, it, it took a toll on my mental health. Um, taking care, having lives in my hands, taking care of ventilator dependent patients, um, working crazy long hours in toxic work environments, saving lives and the buildup of stress caused me to have panic attacks since 2016, even though I did, um, counseling therapy took all sorts of medications practice self self-care by year 2020 i had a severe long-lasting panic attack every single week of 2020 at least once a week they would last four or ten hours or longer i would live in panic and anxiety and fears almost every single day. It wasn't a way to live. So I sought out a lot of YouTube videos about overcoming fear and anxiety as a Christian. And I happened to stumble upon Aaron Kim's YouTube channel, which was so helpful and healing. He inspired me to read the Handbook to Happiness by Dr. Charles Solomon and to seek out Dr. John Woodward's Christ-centered life counseling. I read the book right away. It was a game changer, but I had a long ways to go. I started sessions with John and my co-counselor, Sophia, uh, last year in March, 2021. And each and every single session was meaningful, productive, helpful, Bible-based. It was wonderful. But I wasn't an overnight success. I still lived a, a self-centered life. And two months later, I had to quit my nursing job. It, my panic attacks got so bad. Um, being put into the fire sanctification process, being purified is, is what led me to become the woman I am today. I continued to have sessions with them for six months. I was on disability for six months. And it, John and Sophia helped me break down the strongholds of fear of lack, fear of man, trying to be in control of every single aspect of my life. And in that six months, my mind shifted. I transformed. The Lord ended up blessing me with the job of my dreams. I'm now a, a school one-on-one -on -one nurse. I take care of a um, precious nine-year-old little special needs girl at school. I've overcome many fears. I no longer have panic attacks. I no longer live in fear and anxiety daily, day by day. Um, I'm so joyful. That was an old season in my life. I'm in a new season now. I'm flourishing. I'm confident because I learned about my identity in Christ. So why am I sharing this? It's not because to boast, to flex, to show off, to brag. It's because a blessing from God is like a seed that you must steward. When you look at the seed in your hand, don't think. What can I do to gain from the seed? Instead, think, what can I do 
to steward the seed so that it may bless others because a blessing from God is never meant to end with me.